Zero Dark Thirty again, we're headed out of town. And yes, my luggage matches the Hellcat. vacation. <laughs> okay, so we're at a room. And they ask you when you register uh, if you have any special occasions that you're celebrating. Well, it's Mrs. Speedy's birthday and it's our anniversary. And they actually had the room prepped when we got here. We get some extra little goodies as part of that. Some champagne, strawberries, and I think they bring us a breakfast in bed one morning. Um, and we can schedule those types of things. And that's why I like these types of places. Let's go check out the room. Very nice. And there's even a window for the shower, which is interesting. Let's go check out the view. So that's pretty good. We're gonna be able to look straight out over the pool, under the ocean. And uh, this particular resort has an infinity edge pool, so no matter where you are in the pool, it looks like you're just looking straight out into the water. We've been here before. It's pretty awesome. All right. So now, my name is Stalin. This is Secret Calcana, and he is Mr. Orange, and she is Mrs. Orange. And on behalf of Dominican Republic and my sir, we said, I say, welcome home. Welcome to Secret Calcana. We are very, very happy to have you here. All right? Please, people watching this video, share. <laughs> and we wait for you. <laughs> very good. Very yes, good. Yes, thank you. Very thank you. We are very, very happy to have you here, right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> all right, having our first meal. We just got here. We're starving. Been traveling all day. Cocktails and nachos. No diets this week. And here's our view at lunch. So after lunch, we're going to go for some We came to the coffee shop. Having some iced coffee. Chocolate cake. We get this place pretty frequently when we were here last a uh, couple years ago. Great coffee and good desserts. And they will put a little adult beverage in your coffee if you ask them. So, so we decided to go explore a little bit. That's usually what we do on our first day when we go somewhere. We grab a bite to eat because we normally get there later in the afternoon. Um, we'll have a cocktail or two and then we'll kind of check out the food menus for dinner and check out the beach and whatnot. And unfortunately, the beach is not the best. I don't know what is going on, but there is a massive amount of seaweed on this beach. I'm hoping maybe they'll uh, 
use some machinery or something to scrape it up tomorrow, but maybe not. I don't know what's going on, but you can see it. Not a huge deal. We're not big um, ocean fans anyway. We kind of like the pool and the fresher water, but it is nice to have the option if you want to go to the beach. So a little disappointed to see the beach in the state that it's in, but we're not going to let it spoil our trip for sure. So we're still going to go uh, have a good time. We're going to go find a bite to eat for dinner, find out where we're going to go, get cleaned up. It's dinner time. All right. We just had our first dinner. It's uh, hibachi. Time for dessert. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to take some more now. <laughs> Okay, we just got up, we got beautiful weather. We're gonna go down and grab some breakfast and hit the pool. And the food has been really, really good. There's breakfast for today. Miss Speedy over there chowing down. We got mimosas, coffee, life is good. I can't remember if I actually said where we were staying, but this is Secrets Resort in Cap Cana, Dominican Republic. Having a good time? Oh yes. A little Food's hungover. Awesome. <laughs> little, yeah. Mrs. Speedy overdid it last night. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> it's easy to do around here. They keep serving you drinks till you basically just fall off the bar. So we had a good time though. <laughs> And what I think is really nice about these kinds of places is they're all inclusive. So we actually registered and signed up for it back in May, and it's now October. And so um, you have a few months to just make you know a couple of payments on it to kind of pay it off. Once you get here, you actually put your wallet away. They will accept tips, but um, don't really expect them. What we usually do is wait until the end of the trip, and the folks that are really good to us will go find them and give them a few bucks, you know, for you know taking care of us at the bar and our. Uh, the lady that cleans up a room and things like that, but everything else is all included. Our flight, the room, the food, drinks, desserts, everything. So we really haven't found a better type of vacation to take. So if you haven't ever done one like this, you need to check it out to see if you like it. We used to take cruises and like this way better. I love it. They just randomly bring snacks. Looks like a fruit, some kind of fruit kebab. How is it? So this is what you're going to see us doing a lot of, we just hang out, have cocktails at the pool. It's vacation for me. A lot of people go out and do a bunch of excursions and stuff. We just want to hang out and take it easy. Enjoy the scenery. After spending all day at the pool, I like to come back and just hang out on the balcony, have a beer. Mrs. Speedy starts getting ready for wherever we're gonna go to dinner. It's kind of a you know five-star dining, so you have to get dressed up and all that for most of the restaurants here. And so I always come out and just hang out and relax and enjoy uh, the nice cool afternoons on the balcony at our room. I got a little nickname today from the staff here. A little burned yesterday, too much sun. 
Caribbean sun's pretty uh, pretty potent. Not using enough sunscreen. They've been calling me Mr. Rojo or Senor Rojo, which stands for Mr. Red. So everybody at the pool has been calling me that all day. <laughs> Just one of them things. Whoops. All right. So tonight we're at the Italian restaurant called Portofino. First time I've seen this LED backlit menus. How cool is that? Hopefully. You can see this Italian place. Very nice ambiance. Wine rack in the back. I'm having lasagna. Mrs. Speedy is having, what are you having? Chicken pomodora. Chicken pomodora. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Just had breakfast, but you can't guess where we're at. <laughs> Another, day at Another day at the pool. And here's our view for today. And this is my view for today too. Oh snap. What's so what's been your favorite part so far? The pool. Yeah, mine too. I like just relaxing, not having to make any decisions. Hang out. You always meet really cool people at these things. They all hang out at the pool bar and you can make a bunch of friends and just see them at breakfast and stuff. So that's kind of fun too if you like to go out and talk to folks, which we do. So we really like that. So we're having a blast. What day is it? I don't even know what day it is. You know you're having Friday. You know you're having a good time when you can't remember what day it is. <laughs> Groundhog Day in Cap Canna. It's our view for today. One of the ladies that takes care of the pool just handed us this, and she just said fruity. So, mm. it's like your fruit uh, fruit salad in a cup with a little bit of rum with it. I think very good. service right there. <laughs> Got the pool boy bringing me a cocktail. Life is good. <laughs> Life is good. Oh, yes. Let me see it. <laughs> One of those romantic boy meets girl boy loses girl stories. <laughs> So look what they did for your birthday. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. <laughs> that is really, really cool. It really makes you feel special. That's the nice thing about these places. They they really go above and beyond, that's for sure. And look at Miss Speedy in her dress. So tonight we're at Seaside. Probably one of the biggest steaks I've gotten since I've been here. Lana got an Angus from Mrs. Speedy, I should say. I got the New York Strip, which looks more like a T-bone. So we're enjoying that tonight at Seaside Grill.
just like that, our trip is over. It's time to head back home. We've been here a week. If you haven't had or haven't taken one of these types of vacations where you go to an all-inclusive and you have the opportunity to, I highly recommend it. Had a phenomenal time, beautiful scenery. Um, there's lots to do if you want to do excursions and stuff like that, but that's not really my thing. I like to just hang out at the pool like you saw and just relax and not make any decisions. That's really why we come to these types of places. It's over. We're a little bit sad. We always wish we had one more day, but honestly, after a week, we're ready to get back home and get back into the normal swing of things. So we'll see you there. And just like that, we're back through the magic of video editing. Um, what a great vacation. I was able to spend the first three days drag racing. I don't know if you saw last week's video, but if you didn't, be sure to check it out. I went to the Modern Street Hemi Shootout in Virginia Motorsports Park uh, at the dragway there. and. Drag race to go man go, came in third as you saw in the 1050 class, which was phenomenal. The gentleman who beat me actually went on to win not only the 1050 class, but also the king of the hill, which is everything. And he won like a $6,000 purse. So congratulations to that guy. Um, but if I gotta lose, I'd rather lose to him. Um, I gotta get the car cleaned up. It is a mess from that drag race. So that's next on the agenda. So got a couple of days of vacation left. I'll use that time to catch up on a couple of emails, get the car cleaned up and ready for an upcoming car show. Had a phenomenal time on that vacation. I mean, as you saw, they won't let you lift a finger hardly for yourself. If you haven't done one of those types of all-inclusives, I highly recommend it. Super efficient cost-wise. We did a little simple vacation down to uh, South Florida a couple of years ago. And by the time you got up the flight, the food and the drinks and the hotel room and everything, you've almost spent as much as you would at an all-inclusive. All so highly recommend you check that out if you haven't. It's a great way to take a vacation. I hope you liked the video. You guys seem to like the one where I shared my trip to uh, Las Vegas where I went for the work convention. So this is a little more of that. Mrs. Speedy and I take one real vacation a year. That was it. I won't have another one for a year. So um, if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps get these videos out there and helps my channel kind of grow. And I appreciate you guys that do that. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. It's at speedies underscore garage, as well as our website, www.speediesgarage.net. And hopefully I'll see you out there.